Sunny Bean, the ERP integrated e commerce solution, uses the pricing logic of Microsoft Dynamics NAV. This means that all prices are managed and calculated real time in NAV. This is the Sana Demo Store. In this video, I will briefly explain you the pricing logic of Microsoft Dynamics NAV and how prices are presented in the Sana Web Store. Here you can see some products and their prices. You can see that some products have one price, while other products have several prices and even a discount. You can see the same on the product details page. Customers can also see prices either including or excluding tags depending on the customer setup in the Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Customers can even see prices and discounts per unit of measure and product variant. Prices are automatically adjusted when customers select another unit of measure or product variant. If there are volume discounts, they will be also shown on the product details page. Volume discounts are based on product quantity. Typically, it is used to give better pricing to customers who purchase larger quantities of products. All this information is coming from Microsoft Dynamics NAV and nicely presented in the web store. When a customer adds a product or several products to the shopping cart, all prices, discounts and taxes will be calculated by Microsoft Dynamics NAV real-time and shown to the customer. Let's open the product list page one more time. So, why for some products there is only one price, while for other products there can be two prices and a discount? That is because in Microsoft Dynamics NAV you can set up a unit price and a sales price for an item and a sales line discount. Let's open some item in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. On the Price and Posting first tab of the item card, you can enter the unit price of the item. This is the base price of the item for one unit. Using special prices, you can also set up different sales prices for the item for different customers, product variants, units of measure and quantity. If there is a sales price for the item, it will be used in all sales transactions but not the unit price set on the item card. You can also use special discounts to set up different sales line discounts for the item for different customers, product variants, units of measure and quantity. A sales line discount is calculated either for the item sales price if it is set or for the item unit price if sales price is not available. Using the minimum quantity of an item, you can set up volume discounts. For volume discounts, you can use sales prices or sales line discounts. You can enter the minimum quantity of items that the customer should purchase in order to gain the agreed discount. For example, buy 5 pieces of the item and get 10% discount. Buy 10 pieces of an item and get 20% discount. So, what is the pricing logic of Microsoft Dynamics NAV? Let's summarize. First, the system checks if there is a sales line discount and applies it to the sales price if it exists or to the unit price if there is no sales price. If there is no sales line discount, the system will search for a sales price. If there is no sales price that matches the criteria, the unit price will be used for an item. SANA does not have any influence on how prices are calculated. The default Microsoft Dynamics NAV logic is used. In SANA, you can only control which prices and discounts you want to show to your customers in the web store. There are different settings, both in Microsoft Dynamics NAV and in SANA Admin, which you can use to control presentation of prices and discounts in the SANA Web Store. At first, in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, let's go to the Webshop department and open our webshop. In the Webshop settings, you can see the field Default Price. Here you can choose which price should be used as the default item price, either unit price set on the item card or the sales price of the item set using special prices. It depends on your pricing setup in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. And now let's check price settings in Sana Admin. I will go to Setup, Products, Price. 
Using the field Price Presentation, you can choose which prices should be shown on the product pages in the Sino Web Store. You can show only the sales price or both base price, which is a unit price of an item in an AV, and sales price. Moreover, together with an item price, you can even show a discount percentage or a discount amount. Let's take a look at this product on the Sana Demo Store, for example. Here you can see two prices. The one that is tried through is the unit price of an item. And in the webshop settings in NAV, the unit price is set as the default price of all items. This price is the sales price of the item. You can also see the discount percentage. It shows the difference between a unit price and a sales price. Here you can also see volume discounts, which are set in Microsoft Dynamics NAV for the item using sales line discounts based on the minimum item quantity. So, which prices to show in your web store is up to you. It depends on whether you are using unit prices or sales prices or both, or maybe sales line discounts also. Let's also check a few other price settings in Sana Admin. Using the option Volume Prices, you can show and hide volume discounts on the product details page in the web store. Even if you hide a volume discount from your customers, they will be still calculated in the shopping cart based on the item quantity as this option is only for volume discount presentation. You can also show and hide all prices per customer type. For example, if you don't want to show product prices to B2C customers in the web store but only to B2B and sales agents, you can simply disable this option. When your web store is in the maintenance mode, meaning that there is no connection between Sana and Microsoft Dynamics NAV, you can also either show or hide product prices in the Sana web store. If you enable this option, customers will see only the latest indexed prices in the web store when it runs in the maintenance mode. So, as you can see, Sana is very flexible when it comes to presentation of prices and discounts in the web store. You are free to show those prices and discounts that you want. The combination of price settings in Sana Admin and in Microsoft Dynamics NAV defines how prices and discounts will be shown in your web store. In this video, I briefly explained the pricing logic of Microsoft Dynamics NAV and price settings that are used for presentation of prices in the Sana Web Store. On the Sana Help site, you can read the detailed information about prices setup and description of all possible scenarios.